Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Last night I had a, a stress breakdown, man. I just, I don't understand, bro. I don't, I don't understand why these fighters don't want to fucking fight me fair. I can't understand it to save my life. But they do all this fucking talking. They do all this fucking talking. <laughs> man, it's some bullshit. But you supposed to be the boogeyman of the motherfucking the bitch. You a bitch. That's what you is. A straight bitch. That's sad, man. And then these motherfuckers want to sit up here and blame it on some blood pressure medicine. My nigga, you ain't on no blood pressure medicine. Let's keep it real. Keep it real to all the people. You're not on blood pressure medicine. You were just at the hospital putting IVs in your system trying to flush this shit. That's why you didn't make it to the press conference. We was on it. And I keep telling these fighters, if you're going to take something and put something in your motherfucking system, we going to know. I got eyes and ears everywhere. I got friends all over the world, man. I know who's doing it. And there's a lot of you motherfucking heavyweights doing it. I'm not going to call your name out for, 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 for various of reasons. But trust me, I know. Any of these motherfuckers that got rage, that want to act crazy, out in rage, talk this nonsense, calling people out all the time, uh, with their rage, they on it. Trust me. I know. I'm not going to say their names, but I gave you a hint. They on it. Motherfucker sit up here lying like blood pressure medicine. And first off, you got to tell Vada what you own. First off, if it was that if it was that serious, why wouldn't you tell them that? Why would you tell Vada that you was on blood pressure medicine? That's the first step. That why would that be a, a, a big? Step? When they are finished taking blood sample or, or urine sample, you have them in form. You have an opportunity to write down. What all you're taking? What all you're on? Why wasn't that part filled out? Because y'all are fucking liars. Y'all are fucking liars. And you scared. <laughs> all y'all should be scared of me, though. All y'all should because I'm the devil. This division. All y'all should be scared of me and then lying to these people. Like, get blood pressure. Man, man, get the fuck out of here. That's why you miss your flight. I was on that, too. That's why you miss your fucking flight. Talking about you was in the, whole, in the, in the airport all night. And you missed the flight. Y'all fucking liars. We was already on that for the tip. We already got this. Man, it's so much shit. It's so much shit. Y'all got to be careful what y'all do, where y'all be, because people are looking and watching. And my people was zoning, man. <laughs> you motherfucking liars. Y'all didn't want to fight me, man. Man, I'm so frustrated right now, man. It's just crazy. Again, this shit happened to me again. Nobody will never know what it feel like to put your body through someone. I'm so ready for him right now. <laughs> a third time. Again, over and over and over each and every time. They don't want to play fair when it come to me. But I, don't, I understand because, shit, look who you finna face. I knock motherfuckers out for a living. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> I'll be scared of me too. Be a chaz. You ain't no fucking King Kong. You you a you a you a, you a fucking <sighs> motherfucking bam. Oh my god, <sighs> man. I'm so frustrated right now, people. Y'all gotta understand, man. This is crazy. <sighs> this is crazy. To sum all this up, Ortiz allegedly talking about he on blood pressure medicine, which is a lie. And if he is, then why the fuck you didn't write it down on the vital sheet? That was easy to do. You supposed to let them know what you want. That was easy to do, but that's a fucking lie because we know. That's why you didn't make it to the press conference. That's why you didn't catch that flight to the press conference because you was at the doctor getting IVs stuck in you. Yeah, I know. I know. You were trying to flush that shit out. And then what you really took, you took something else to try to cover it up like a shield, like a shell over it to cover it up. But it ain't no getting around this shit, man. Why the fuck y'all do this shit? And then, man, you needed something to beat me, but you King Kong. 
You King Kong and pound your motherfucking chest and all this bullshit. And who am I? Who am I? I'm just a motherfucker that them fall palms, right? Leave it up to people. But look at this shit. <laughs> people don't let or tease people or anybody else persuade you to go anywhere else or think anywhere else. They know what they was doing. They know what they put in their system. They tried to hide it and cover it up, but it didn't work. It failed miserably. And here we are right now. I just want to know, man. I just want a serious answer before I go. Why y'all all got to cheat for me? Why? Are y'all that scared of me? Am I that scary? I just talk my talk to walk my walk. That's it. I'm very confident in what I say. And what I mean is what I say. And what I say, I mean, that's it. If I say I'm going to beat your ass, I'm going to beat your ass. No question asked. <laughs> that's how real I am. <laughs> but I'm going to look, man. I'm out, man. <laughs> what up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, Please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, I was one of the first to break the news. Mauricio Suleiman of the WBC tweeted out that tweet saying, Hey, we got confirmation from Vada. Luis Ortiz failed his test, his drug test, with a positive test that had a banned substance. Something is on the ban list. Fight is in jeopardy. I haven't heard an official official ruling but I mean in these situations more often than not I would say they get cancelled you guys seen the beginning Deontay Wilder was ranting he has every right to in 18 months this is the third time he's had an opponent who they've made flyers for they advertise to the public who he was facing and this is yet the third these are all separate people Povetkin the Polish fighter Andre Wowski or whatnot and now Luis Ortiz who were scheduled to fight him and it was public knowledge we had a date venue time things like that and the third fighter in 18 months where his fight is looking like he's getting canceled not through any fault of his own not because he failed something but because they failed as part of the clean boxing program now i remember people talking about vada versus wada and usada who's better but shit vada's catching a lot of people i mean they've caught three of deontay wilder's opponents with inconsistencies with their tests, irregular, Ill, irregular um, ingredients in their bloodstream or urine. So it's just crazy, man. And I really feel for Deontay Wilder, uh, this particular fight that most likely won't happen. This was supposed to be his coming out party to show he's ready for the Anthony Joshua's and prove, you know what I mean, improve and through no fault of his own. And see, listen, new media, man, I'm not gonna let, at least on my channel, I'm gonna speak my mind. And the fans gotta stop, stop um, blaming Wilder when situations like this happen. People are like, oh, Wilder's scared. It was just blood pressure medicine. Who cares, fight him anyway. That's not how the game goes. You fight somebody who's cheating and it's like, listen, it's like if you're going up for a promotion, right? You're going up for a promotion at your job and it's supposed to be you and another candidate who are up for this promotion and you know that the other person is sleeping with the, the boss. So, you know what I mean? That's that's kind of an unfair advantage. They're, they're sleeping together with the boss, so likely they're gonna get the promotion over you. You know what I mean? Because they're getting closer and uh, fraternizing and stuff like that. So you wouldn't like that at your job. You know what I mean? Now, this job just happens to be on some battle gladiatorial shit where you could lose your life. You could suffer permanent damages, right? So it's not fair for somebody who's arguably on something or on something that you're not on to have to face them. You know what I mean? So y'all got to stop blaming Wilder. The other thing is, is this. Some people don't seem to understand this, but Wilder said a lot of things that I said in my video yesterday. Like, see, when I when I make my opinions, I'm not saying I'm a, a lawyer or a doctor, but I am 
knowledgeable like i am smart enough to to listen to what's being presented and just like wilder said i said the same thing in my live stream and i said it in the other video listen if you are on something let's say you have hypertension and you're on blood pressure medicine they give you an opportunity when you're getting your blood work to document that and to request an exemption like and to my knowledge it's cool that king kong's team has said hey hey look his pictures and he's showing a prescription but that to me is not conclusive enough just because yeah it's a bottle it's a prescription you could get a prescription like listen if i knew i was on something and a lot of people take a diuretics as masking agents i'm trying to tell you guys because you want to cover up the foul you're trying to cover up what you're really on and i'm not saying this is 100 percent the case i don't know but it looks fishy and you can't deny that and the reason it looks fishy is because if you know you're on something prescribed by a doctor and it is 100 percent legit then why would you not declare that and request an exemption they give you forms for that you know what i mean and i'm, I'm telling you guys it's always going to be worse when whatever entity discovers you instead of you just coming clean like if you watch the first 48 and they're interrogating somebody and he was like oh i don't know this i don't know this person in the picture and then they do more investigation and then they have a videotape of you walking into the casino with this person you just say you didn't know k you didn't know this person that's accused of shooting shooting up a, a house party you didn't know that person but then all of a sudden they come back with evidence stating that you do know him because you walked in with them and you were talking to him you were with k the alleged gunman you know what i'm saying so it's, it's the same situation here if you already told the police yeah i know dude but i don't know what happened with that then that you've already admitted to you were truthful you know what i'm saying and you already like openly admit yeah i know k but i don't know what he did on this other night you know what i'm saying but when you told the cops you lied to him or didn't um come forth with the knowledge that you knew k and then they sh they come back and do more investigation to find out you did know him because you were at the barber shop or you walked into a casino with them and they have pictures and tape and evidence of it then now you look fishy you look dumb now it looks like you know more than you're letting on because why don't you just admit that you knew the dude just because you know someone doesn't mean you know what they're involved with i know a lot of people i know people that have done crimes that are in prison that doesn't mean because i know them i had something to do with it or i could have prevented it or i was there with them so it makes you look guilty same exact concept here if you don't declare this stuff then it's going to look bad and if like i said if you have hypertension high blood pressure or whatever as a pro athlete i mean that's something in itself but if you do then it shouldn't slip your mind that you're that you're taking something daily that you're taking these two medicines or one medicine and you have a big fight coming up like, oh yeah let me tell vada this you know what i mean and this is just very customary medical procedures if they're about to do certain medical procedures they want to know if a woman's on birth control if she's on this and that if they take anything for heart disease they need to know those types of things so if a lady was on birth control which which could um not respond well with another medicine you you watch those commercials about like oh do you suffer from depression consider taking this you know what i mean and it was like consult with your doctor if you have heart disease if you're if you believe you're pregnant blah 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 because they need to know those things and if you knew you're on birth control or this and that and you don't declare that then you're 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 fucking up the rotation so as far as i'm concerned there's still the just proving that you have pills for that that contain that that doesn't really help your case in my opinion unless you could prove that you told vada you were taking that because now it seems sneaky it seems suspicious because it's it's just that's what you're supposed to do i mean why would it why would why would you not i mean anything like that like if you go let's say you go to the social security office or you try to get an ebt card do it in the streets and it's like oh do you have do you live with anyone do you have any um family members or something like that and you're like nah it's just me 
and then they find out you do live with somebody. That doesn't look good because you told them that you didn't live with anybody. You never, like, it just slipped your mind. You know what I'm saying? So, it, to me, it still seems fishy. And like I said, if you know, if you know the Peds game, which I do, and I've done extensive research, sometimes they take other things to mask what they're really on or flush it out their system and stuff because they don't want to get caught for the hardcore stuff. Um, and that's how it works. If you if you watch the movie with Denzel called Flight, where he was the pilot and he was like super drunk or something, and then he had to fly, I think they gave him cocaine because they, you know what I mean, they had a depressant and then they had an upper. And if, you, if you're in the Peds game, you, you know the chemistry behind this stuff. You, you know what's going to, like, folly up a test. I mean, that's what these guys do, Who the guys who are on something. So, again, I can't tell you what anybody's on, but I can tell you it does look suspicious, and I agree with Wilder. You got to declare that stuff. And if you don't, that's your own negligence. If, if you have a big major fight, listen. Listen how easy this is. I don't know his purse, but we'll just take a guess. Let's say they're going to offer him $450,000. And the difference between you fighting for a title and you believe you could beat Wilder, the WBC champion, so you'll win a title, plus you'll collect $450,000 and have the biggest name on your resume. And all of this is dependent on you filling out a medical form, requesting the exemption for what you have and you don't do it whose fault is that even if you're on hyper blood pressure medicine high blood pressure medicine that's all you have to do point blank period it's like any this is any this is just basic business rigmarole like Kel Brook Golovkin bashed up his eye he's the IBF champion IBF ruled that even though you moved up to middleweight you got a welterweight named Errol Spence. We we need you to fight him. He's your mandatory. So Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, Kell Brook, Kell Brook's representation, they said, hey, IBF, we want to request a medical exemption. We can't fight him this year in 2016. We'll get to him, but we can't fight him right away because he sustained this injury. Here's the x-rays. Here's the doctor's opinion. Woom, woom, woom. Guess what? The IBF said, cool. We, we seen that fight with Golovkin, get well soon, we, see, we got your medical records, we got your doctor's note, and as a result, we'll push this off. And you don't have to fight him, but when you come back, you have to fight him. That's what happened. Kilbrook fought Errol Spence earlier this year. That, I mean, that's any business, any business practice is like that. So again, I mean, I can't feel sorry if those things haven't been declared. And from King Kong's side, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen where they declared this requesting the exemption said hey i'm on this look at the ingredients let let me know because now you're alerting them to a potential flag as opposed to them alerting the wbc and it coming out this way it's, it's, it's so much better when you when you come forth with the information as a as opposed to it being discovered because now it looks like you may have something up your sleeve where you're hiding because you didn't declare it. Why would you not openly declare it? Somebody make that make sense. And if I stand corrected and King Kong's team can show proof of that, that they they told Vada, because now you're, see, this is what people don't understand. These companies, and I know I'm going in on this, but these companies like Vada, they've, they weren't born yesterday. You know what I mean? They've been around for a while. And you're not going to pull the wool over their eyes, like to the point where you look at it like Nevada State Athletic Commission, VADA, or, or an organization that's been in place for a while. You know what I mean? They've seen all kinds of stuff. Like people try to blame VADA. Oh, you contaminated the test. So they have backup proceedings. That's why they have a B sample. That's why they could produce medical records. So if King Kong Ortiz's team can do that, then it's going to be you versus VADA showed that Vada was the one that was being negligent and you declare that I'm on hyper blood pressure medicine, I'm on this, I'm on, um, you know what I mean, birth control, whatever. You show them 
because now Vada at that point will be forced to face the public and prove that this was their blooper. You know what I mean? And I have not seen that yet. They just say, oh, it's blood pressure medicine. And listen, if, if you like just I'm being fair, I'm being neutral. If if you're on something, you're not trying to get caught. So, yeah, you might you might have the appearance of like put it put it this way. I know people who slang drugs, right? Real life drug kingpins. You know, what I mean, I'm not saying like Scarface, but that's all they do for money. And I'm not like snitching because you don't know who they are. But listen, they do certain things to give the appearance maybe that they have another job. You know, what I mean, it's just like it's called like washing money, money laundering. You know what I mean? If you're a drug kingpin, you're going to, you're not, the whole thing is you're not trying to get your empire busted. You're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. And what they do is launder money. So they will have a front. They'll open up a fake business, put some money into that business. So when taxes come around, you're like, hey, this is, I own a dry cleaning service. So this is how I'm getting paid. You know what I mean? And it keeps the feds off you and it keeps people not curious because if you just rolling around in baller cars you don't own a business you don't own nothing people are going to start wondering like hey how's he getting that money how's ego getting that money you know what i'm saying if i don't have no job so that's that's another analogy for you guys a lot of people put up fronts for what they really do you know what i mean if you're a drug dealer you're not trying to get caught for slanging drugs because you're making money and you you live in live in the fast life so you would launder the money into something else, put it into, let's say, a singer. And, oh, I'm a manager. I manage a singer. So now you have a, a scapegoat, if you will. So, again, I don't know what athletes are putting in their body, but I can tell you, in my honest opinion, it doesn't look good. Because just because you show pills that you were prescribed, it, that's, that's nothing. I know people that have had, like... Uh, PTSD or something and you could exaggerate you know what I mean Be like man I'm having nightmares and cold sweat you could exaggerate and then the doctor is going to prescribe you something you know what I mean and maybe they're just addicted to it and they're just embellishing on it so the doctor keeps prescribing them like hey man I can't sleep for shit I have anxiety I was in Afghanistan I went to Iraq you know what I'm saying I'm not saying everyone's like gaming the system but again there's ways to do it that's my rant. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.